Jones baking partner Leanne Fletcher has just the thing to satisfy those sweet teeth out there, right? Or Absolutely. just a sweet tooth if you have one. Just one. Just one. It's good to see it's you. Good to see you too. Um, this is easy. It is very easy. So it's truffles, and usually truffles you think really, really hard, a lot of ingredients, you know, labor intense. But this one's we're gonna, you know, cheat a little bit and you know still come up with a really good product. All right, let's so, do it to it. So inside here we have cream cheese. If you want to, how would you oh, switch that do way? Oh, do this that way. way. All right. So cream cheese Don't inside here, <laughs> obviously soften it so that we can get it nice and fluffy. Come for it. How much uh, for the recipe? For the recipe, I have uh, one eight ounce um, one. Block. So just one, get one block, have it soften, put it inside here, and then we are gonna add um, two and a half cups or two cups roughly. It depends on your texture that you like. Um, these are just plain vanilla wafers. Crush them up inside the same bag that it comes in and then pop them inside there and mix this together. That's what's gonna give you, sometimes these will have like a Rice Krispie Treats. Mm -hmm. So this is an alternate to Rice Krispie Treats. Okay. And it adds in a little bit more flavor to it than your Rice Krispies. You mentioned just smoosh them up in the bag. Sometimes I put them in like a food processor. They don't have to be that fine. No. They can still have a little mm -mm. It can still have that little bit of texture in it and that's what's gonna hold it together too. And these are the like vanilla wafers that go in banana pudding. Yeah, okay. yep, absolutely. Um, and then here we have um, our caramel sauce that we make at the kitchen and then a little bit of peanut butter Yum. inside of it. So again, just to have a little base to keep everything together and about a tablespoon each of that. Caramel and peanut butter. Yeah. Do I use creamy or crunchy? Well, see, that's the difference. It can be whatever one you prefer. Okay. I did creamy. Um, I only do crunchy on, on crackers. I don't know. It was my, my dad's thing. So. <laughs> So just again, scrape your bowl down. Make sure you scrape it down like that. For the record, I am team crunchy. That's fine. I like creamy. Wait. Creamy works, but I'm team crunchy. But, and again, if you do that, then it's going to give you a little bit more texture yeah. um, inside of that. Yay. So, so um, that all comes together. So that's going to be all blending. And then while we're blending that, we should have some chocolate okay. inside the microwave. Um, so again, we just basically just took the chocolate, um, melted it down. You can buy this at the store, the wafers, um, and just mic it in the microwave. Stare occasionally. You do not have to do it over top of the oven, you know, over top of the stove, boiler. the double mm -hmm. boil, you don't. It's just I ha and I have one of those that was my Nana's, and that's how we made, we used to make, I think, this this dessert's cousin called Buckeye Balls. Yep. And it was, it, and so you then would dip them in, but we had to make, melt that chocolate in the double boiler, and there was like adding yeah. wax to it. It was this crazy process. I love baking, but that's the part that I don't like. That gets I can't just These stand are so and easy. do that. So yeah, so then at that point, you're gonna have this mixture here. Can I scoop? Absolutely. Okay. Just take away. All right. If you want to, you can actually Watch put out for it my right inside. Leanne. I'm not gonna put anything in the champagne. Okay, so I scoop, scoop. swap. Yeah. Presto. That's it. And, and then, then we're gonna take dip. a little chocolate. Okay. Now you can do one or two. Do I, I don't like to do it? messy, so I just prefer just to drizzle oh. on top of it. Okay. But some people like to dip the whole ball down inside. Yeah. But I'm just, I'm not a big fan of that. And then how long do these have to set? So these, what I do is I like to do one chocolate, do all of them. By the time you do all of the chocolates around one time, it will harden enough. Okay. And see, that she's going to make sure she has enough chocolate you on can't, there. You can't <laughs> scrimp here. <laughs> Leanne, thank you so there much. You okay, so then that happens. We're Sit, almost out of time. Crunch, put your little nuts on top of that. Mm -hmm. Put them in the um, in the fridge for like an hour, and, and they're, they're done. Ready. Yeah, it's done. That's the finished product yeah. right there. I would still be like melting the wax for the Buckeye balls. It yeah. would just take forever. They're so easy. Thank Absolutely. you, Leanne. No problem. Great to see you. Yes. A huge thank you to all of our guests today. Uh oh, Big Herm. Big Herm's I'm back. Crunchy too. I didn't you... get a cue to come in. I don't have a headset yet, but we're working on that. So please stay tuned. Uh, headset.